So video editing might be one of the most time consuming side hustles on the entire internet in 2024. And honestly, if you're an editor, you know you'll take absolutely any shortcut possible to save the extra minute or the extra hour. Essentially, time is valuable. And it blows my mind that so many people aren't using this secret tool, even though it's been out for almost two years now. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. But anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Okay, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about by this editing trick, Trick, I just want to let you guys know that this is going to be auto subtitles in Premiere Pro, dude. It's insane. It's one of the only editing softwares that actually offers this. It's actually able to be used as an editing software at a super professional level. I know like CapCut does it. Wondershare Filmora, I'm pretty sure does it. But Premiere Pro, dude. Premiere Pro, you can literally edit movies in and they have auto subtitles. Okay, quickly before we actually get into the tutorial, I want to quickly talk to you guys about my two editing packs that I have right now. I recently just dropped my 2024 editing pack and that has absolutely everything you need in terms of content creation it'll help you make the best videos possible and make editing a lot easier when it comes to making your projects in my packs i have over 150 presets supporting davinci resolve after effects premiere and sony vegas a ton of project files for my own videos as well as videos that i've edited for my own clients so you're able to actually edit professional videos based off of them i have a ton of sample footage from some of the biggest youtubers that i've edited for practice clips for fortnite a sound effects library music library memes literally everything you could ever need for editing and if you guys can't actually afford my 2024 pack i have an all-in-one five dollar pack that's great for beginners as well so if you guys want to check out either of those packs they're gonna be at the top of the description but i won't go on any longer let's get right back to the video if you aren't taking advantage of this feature right now i don't know what you're doing but i'm going to be showing you how you can actually utilize this tool and use it for you know the greater good of your videos and saving you hours like i mentioned in the intro so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here into file and i'm actually going to open a tiktok video for example now you can use this for literally anything if it's a youtube intro a youtube video you know a school project a client's video a tiktok literally anything you'll be able to easily subtitle it and it'll just it'll save you so much time dude i used to spend an, over an hour individually subtitling every single word inside of after effects and davinci dude it was such a pain um but yeah i'm gonna show you how you can actually get around that uh that difficulty so so basically what you're going to need to do initially is you're going to need to import my layer style right here um and all you have to do to do this is actually drag and drop it from your file explorer i'll have it in the drive in the description for you guys to actually just download it for free um you'll just need to drag it into your project file little media pool right here um and then once you do that it's so simple so premiere pro i'll quickly show you i already have a um transcript of the video but if you didn't have it, all you would do is you, you'd have your project here edited the way it is, right? So I have this TikTok, I talk, I narrate, I have like a pop up here, pop up there, music, everything. It's 100% done, minus the subtitles. Now I want subtitles on all my TikToks because I feel like it gives the viewer an extra something to look at, which is great. Um, and my rule of thumb for TikToks is always have more than one thing for your viewer to look at, whether that's a pop up or a subtitle or a logo or some sort of, you know, transition, any sort of visual effect. So subtitles will definitely do you some justice if you don't have any of that going on so what you would do here you go create captions and if you didn't have the transcript done it would automatically create the transcript before it makes the captions you go down here to style go to the uh, subtitle style that i have that i have in the description like i mentioned drag your maximum length in characters down to seven and then drag your minimum duration down to 1.2 which these are the minimum you can leave gap between captions as is change this to single and do create captions now premiere pro will literally do the magic for you just like that in seven Seconds. we have these subtitles 100% done but obviously we're gonna have to make a few corrections so don't get me wrong they won't 100% be finished to your liking as soon as you completely literally just press the create captions button obviously you're gonna need to do a little bit of tweaking but dude that's better than manually doing it so what I'll normally do let me quickly explain my process and I actually went over this in my TikTok subtitle tutorial I'll go through and I will just kind of go to each sentence and if it doesn't fit on one line I'll drag it out if it still doesn't I'll double click on it and change the font size down to like 70 or something so it fits on the same and then even if it's something like this we should be able to drag it out Do streamers i'll also remove punctuation and then sometimes we'll get stuck with a big sentence like this we can just come through chop it up in half and separate the two parts of the sentences so we can get rid of a lot of them on this one get rid of there are and just like that we have our entire video subtitled so you could literally have a 10 minute video and have it auto subtitled in like 30 seconds and you know you may not
not have to go through and tweak it or make a lot of changes um but yeah that's pretty much that dude bit of a shorter tutorial but i just wanted to make you guys aware of this tool if you are editing youtube videos and you know davinci after effects filmora sony vegas just so many softwares don't offer the ease of access tool like this already um and this uses ai to determine it so yeah guys that's pretty much going to do it for the tutorial if you guys learned something make sure to like comment subscribe if you guys want any more presets to help you guys edit your own videos i'll have my edit pack down below in the description as well as the pinned comment so go check that out it'll help you with everything you need in terms of editing but if you guys enjoy like comment subscribe no we'll see you guys later peace out